Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Airships Conquer the Skies. Today's beverage is a very nice honey, ginger and fennel infusion. Very strange but also interesting indeed. So welcome back to the game. In the previous episode we were taking a festive approach to our designing and fighting and specifically making the bauble of doom. Let's see if we can find that here. It is in there. The bauble of doom. It's round-ish and it's fairly cheap and the idea is that it was, like I say, more of a festive thing and just a bit of a mess around but it was relatively effective for its cost and the things we uh, put it again so that was good we also made the boarding of doom which is slightly more expensive but infinitely better because of the marine barracks i certainly would make a version two of that take out the marine barracks and instead put in uh, which what would it be it would be the um let's see about that so it's gonna be in can't find it at all troops and air dragoons yes yeah, so they've got uh, suspending backpacks that could work but realistically Grenadiers in it. Grappling hooks. You just put the ones with grappling hooks in. But what I was thinking is let's remove that and maybe shift them around and remove the gas bag because the advantage this, this thing has is that it's cheap and it is quite sprightly. It's uh, got a speed at the moment of 155. But the service ceiling is fairly poor. What if we were to take that out and instead increase the service ceiling by putting in a pressurized suspendium dust tank. Scientific method tier two, so it's not overly expensive to get, but it is explodes easily, but putting that in there will give us a service ceiling at the moment anyway, of 298. So more than enough to get us off the ground, that's for sure. We also have, uh, well, weapons to discuss. Now, it would be very nice to stick a heavy turret on the top, but A, that wouldn't help us, and B, it looks ridiculous, C, <laughs> it halves the service ceiling. So it's not going to happen, but the dorsal turret, the dorsal turret will fit in quite nicely on the bottom there. So we can make a bombard of doom and that's what we're going to make. So we have that in, we do need some ammo of some kind and let's go to resources, to the ammo store. Uh, can't see the wood for trees, there it is, small ammo store. Going to put in two of those there in there and then one... Oh, that's a fire extinguisher. Uh, that'll actually go in there quite nicely. We just need to have some crew. It says minimum crew of five. So I think if we just go to command and crew, we could put a quarters in. Uh, oh, we can't because it wouldn't have the... Sadly, it wouldn't have the connections. But we go one, two, three. And there we go. That actually brings us to recommend a crew nine. And we've got nine. No call. We can give command to the ship. And it's in. So let's do that. So we'll rename that. So it is the it's the Bombard of Doom. And we will save the design and save it. And while we're messing on, we're gonna rip that out and go over to the where is it? Weapons and we'll scroll down and we'll find the bomb bit. And we're gonna put some bombs on the bottom of this thing. Lots of rockets, sponsons, flax, aerial charges. I nice to have an aerial torpedo on it, but <laughs> it wouldn't really do anything, would it? No. Actually, we could, we could we could technically put one externally and mount it. <laughs> mount it there, technically. Yeah, I think you can... Oh, no, you can't stack them, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, anyway. Back to... Where is it? The bomb bay. Cannot find it. Kinetic bomb and bomb bay. There it is. So we can only have the one. I guess we could have two, technically, if we wanted to put it there, but we can't get to it. So I think we'll keep it where it is for now. And hmm, what would be the better way to get there? Don't think it really matters because they're going to have to go through the fire extinguisher. So it is, frankly, just the basic corridor with ladder. And there we go. And, hmm, I mean, it's going to be called the... Uh, the Bomber of Doom. It's not really a bomber, and I don't think there's much doom to be had. Yeah, okay. Uh, we'll think about painting them later, if they are even remotely useful. So we'll leave that, and we've... I mean, it's 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 really unfair to say that we've made two vessels. We've sort of repurposed another one. So, let's go ahead and go to Airship, and we're going to have in the... The Bombard of Doom, I'm going to place it there. So that is our service ceiling there. 375. Let's add in an airship and see what we can get close to that one. The bat would go in. 100 and, was it 100 and... 
hundred and oh, sorry, three hundred and seventy five. I don't know why I'm saying hundred. A three hundred and seventy five versus three hundred and seventy five. It's it's absolutely bang on. <laughs> it's it's ideal. Right. Well, we would want to go there, so I'll start the fight and um, let's move. So the question is, can it get higher up than us? And I think the answer to that is yes. Yes, it can. Um, I'm also going to get run away there. I want to go up if I can. Just going to wait. And it's blown the thing off the bottom. <laughs> so that is a that is an instant loss. Okay, that that didn't go that didn't go as uh, as well as I'd hoped. Airships. So was that generally? Yeah, it is. It is genuinely the right the cost. It's pretty much the same thing. It's just it's got. Is that wooden wall as opposed to wooden armor? I think so. Um, add in the airship. Um, so what I'm hearing is we've just managed to make a slightly poorer version. Yep, that's that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, let's not put that in. I mean, we'd have to alter our armor. But yeah, let's go to airship. Look for the creosote. There you go. I think that's fair to put in. It's like a cannon ship. And start the fight. And obviously we need to go so we can't be shot. The whole idea is to be above the target. And this is very unfair because not only is it trapped in between these two, we are just picking it off from up top here. Yeah. So, like the previous fight was a bit stacked towards the AI because they had basically the better ship. Um, this was the other way around. So neither have really been very conclusive, have they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try and put it in a sort of more real-world scenario. So, we'll add an airship, and we're going to put in this thing, maybe. That thing's a fairly decent thing to fight, and it is quite expensive. Airship, let's just put in the bombards for a start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight would be overpointed. Let's be underpointed then, so we'll start the fight. I think shots fired from right to left are less accurate, so we have the advantage there. So let's just go there and unpause it, and obviously we're going to take a bit of a brunt from the initial the initial blast, but then the, the bombards of doom are going to go right over the top, and they're going to cause a bit of damage. So obviously they've still got a decent... Uh, they've still got a decent arc of fire, those things. I'm just waiting for it to do its inevitable spin round. There it is, so now we're going to move again. Make sure that we keep the enemy away from us. That's just a big explosion there, and I'm I'm thinking that's that's it done, right? What's it lost? It's lost some suspendium for sure, and it's just lost. Has that lost all suspendium? I can definitely see two suspendium crystals in there, so it has the capability of fighting. Just gonna move a little bit to the left here, just a little bit. We'll still be in arc. And it won't be an arc of fire, but we're able to fire down over still, and we're not going to get that left to right disadvantage. We can see that ammo is actually perfectly acceptable. Wow. I didn't know that those guns were as effective. <laughs> they look, um... Well, the way they move is sort of, it's very alien. And also, the recoil is pushing them up. <laughs> Alright. Okay. That's curious. How is it go- Ooh, I was going to say, how is it going? Not well. For those guys, I don't think. Nope, there it goes. And no target available, that's a win. Alright. So, that's- That's surprising. That's a bit surprising. Let's try some it again then. That's a more of a balanced fight. So this is the Imperator 5. Three forward cannons, dorsal cannon, two flak cannons. So we can't just sit above it. Add airships, bauble of doom. No. Hang on. It's the bombard of doom. One, two, three, four, five, six. 2,250 versus 2,286, as balanced as you're going to get. So realistically, it's better for me to back up 
because we don't want to get hit by that flak. We're still getting clipped by a couple of the cannons. And I think we're going to lose one of the baubles here. I think I've just manoeuvred wrongly there. Oh, this is going to be a problem. So the question is, what do I want to do? I need to go and get in arc. But if I go up, I'm going to get shot by the flak. So would is it best to fly over or is it best to go down and around? The way this is getting picked apart, I'm feeling down first. And that's not what we wanted to see. Oh yeah, okay. It's uh it's just parking in a decent position anyway. Hang on, there we go. Uh, can we even outmaneuver it now? I don't think so. I don't think so. Even if we were managing to go underneath and round, it can still fire it at us. So let's just just stay in the fight. See if we can take them on. We've still got two guns in the running. We've still got Yeah. One gun maybe. Oh no, that is still there. We actually had three before the other one fell out of the sky. That's now blown up. And the other one is drifting back over. Strangely, it's... Oh, there's the last gun. <clears throat> yeah. That's the fight over with. So we've lost all of the bombards of doom. It, however, has taken considerable damage. So, yeah. We're not very well armoured. And the flak definitely deals the damage it needs to. The advantage that that thing has as well is that it's got a very, very good service ceiling. Let's go four then. Let's try the other ones. Let's try the bomber. So there's one of the bombers. We'll add in a... Should we have a land chip in? Let's put the... No, let's not put the rhino in. And not the pig. Let's put the titan in maybe? <laughs> yeah, that's going to be an interesting fight. Why not? We'll put it in. So there is the titan. Yep, it's a cube. So something like we would make... Although, to be fair, we are running spheres now. We've uh, we've evolved. So, we'll have the Bomber of Doom. And I fear I may have to stack these. Something I don't like to do. Oh, even then... So, we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 18... That looks really impressive. It's going to look super impressive when they get absolutely annihilated out the sky as well. So let's do this. So I'll move them over. Obviously, there is the copious amounts of flak. And already three of them have fallen out the sky. Although, realistically, it's only one of them that's uh, that's had the damage there. Speed of damage. Here's the bombs coming in. And it is causing considerable damage to... Well, the front section. And they've lost some tracks. And I've just realised one of the advantages that we have. These things love falling out of the sky and cause more damage by falling out of the sky than what we would have done if we just shot it. <laughs> okay. That's a quirk of the, the system. Let's just move these over. The problem is we're still going to lose. That's the worst part about it. The... They've still got four flak. And there's nothing we can really do about that. Oh, hang on. They've lost some of their flak. If we, if they were to lose a couple more of the flak on that initial hit, we would win that. But I would probably argue that it's won. But has anyone really won? <laughs> Looking at the state of this. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I'm going to try that again. This time, though, we'll put the Titan back in. I'll also give myself one. And we're going to have Bombards of Dooms. Let's go for... Well, we'll have to weather the front... Let's just pepper downwards. So we'll add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Add airship. 
and we'll have the Bomber of Doom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 4,705 versus 4,722. And it's still probably best just to charge in. Because if we stand here, we get shot off how many cannon? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. <laughs> Alright, okay. We can't take that many cannon. But then there's also this flak here. Basically, there's... So, we're damned if we do and we're damned if we don't. Ah, oh, so also, we've got that in the way. Okay, I'll move them over then. It's coming towards us, strangely. We've clipped that top bit, which is a shame. Baubles are falling out the sky. Crunch! Right on top. <laughs> right on top there. Of the, um... Of the bridge, essentially. So I think we're all in the fight now. Looks to be. They still haven't lost the flak that we need them to lose. And also, we're not going to be falling out the sky and having that sort of thing <laughs> again because of this. This is actually protecting them from the debris. And I think all of the bombers are out. I think all of, genuinely all of the bombers have stopped firing. Well, dropping bombs. Or is this thing not so much? I mean, how much damage would I cause by just ramming into the back of it? More. More damage. Ha. Huh. That is one of the advantages with the baubles. That that's a defeat, but if we go to airship editor. There's the bauble of doom. Vertical drag is reduced speed by 38%. Horizontal drag is 20%. Basically, they're a, they're a ball, so... Yeah. I would have thought it would have been almost identical. Apparently not. But yeah. It means that these things can move around and whatever it says in terms of speed is not overly affected by the design of it. it means we can make a ramming vessel and a cheap one at that remove that not keep that remove these sponsons do we even need to put a spike on it <laughs> would we even want to put a spike on it and that would that would spoil the whole bauble approach um weapons Put a spike ram on the front? I mean, technically would even sit there, but I would probably remove that and put it there. <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> I quite like that. Okay. We're leaving it there for now. That's me with their ships. We've got the Bombard of Doom and the Bomber of Doom. Both of which are not really of Doom, the more of of being destroyed. I think the Bombard is better, but this is limited testing against limited opponents, and it's very one-sided. In an actual fight, you would use mix and match of everything. I do think they have the place. They are basically a mini version of their larger counterparts. So, fun to build, fun to use. In terms of its effectiveness, I'm going to mark down... Mm, not yet confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm interested to make the ramming version because that could be quite good and may make changes to some of those. If you have any tips and suggestions for the builds you've just seen, if you have any ideas you would like to see made, then by all means, pop them in the comments there. As always, hope you have enjoyed this mess around on airships. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.